guys, my name is Layla Sophia. I am an artist and fine jewelry designer. If you like contemporary fine jewelry, if you like luxury handbags, all things interiors, then I have some fun videos for you. You guys, okay, I've actually done one of these before. As we know, I have this wild collecting obsession with the row. I've had it for a couple years now. I always give credit to my mother who has an incredible collection and who started her collection like far before I did years and years and years ago. And so since my last video, I have doubled my collection of the row. I now have a total of eight bags and I can't wait to share them with you. First and foremost, if you guys are new here, thank you so, so much for tuning in. I can't wait to see you in all of my future videos. Make sure that you like this video, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram at Layla Sophia Jewelry. I put up videos every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. And so I cannot wait to see you guys in the next one. Okay, I have no idea what order to go in, so we're just gonna wing it. My first video, I think I did in the order of purchasing. And so to switch that up a little bit, I don't wanna go in order of favorites because it would be really, really hard to pick my favorites. If you guys are new here, by the way, this is the unconventional collection of the row bags. My quick little intro is honestly like, I've been thinking so much about this. I've done many a video on the row and my true, true, true unwavering love of both of the designers and the row as a whole, of course. And honestly, I did like, I've, I've definitely had moments of questioning like, oh my God, I don't have any of like the crazy sold out popular bags, but I love each and every one of my bags so much. And honestly, I really, really think that like, I've picked very rare pieces that some of them can barely even be found anymore. Some of them are a lot older. Some of them are from kind of different collections over the years. So I'm very proud of my collection. And what I what I had a light bulb moment about like literally last night is that now that I've, I think I've like, I've Pokemoned it. Like I've got all of the very rare ones that I've always really wanted from past shows that I've seen go down the runway and just like have been completely obsessed with. And so now I feel like I can start to add in the more, uh, let's say in a nice way, not trendy, but maybe like the more well-known, there we go, bags from the row. You guys know that I still have the 90s bag on my wish list. I'm probably not going to go for a Margot this year. I'm just gonna wait until the hype dies down a little bit. No offense to everybody. I've been seeing so many unboxings of the Margos. I still love them. Park Tote, the Half Moon bag. I wouldn't mind adding a couple of those. There will be a Margot in my collection, of course. One day, Park Totes I've seen, you know, the price is dropping on the pre-loved market and also the Half Moon bag. So now I feel like slowly I can take my time to add in the ones that are plentiful on the secondhand market and on the Row website. So my long-winded intro over the way, let's just go ahead and start out with where the row started. For those of you guys who don't know, I do have the very first piece that the row ever produced as bags. They started their company a couple years prior to starting accessories and bag design. And so this is my baby. This is like literally my baby. This is the row doctor bag from the 2011 collection. I have the brown one. I did indeed find one for my mother in black. I know one of you guys scored a black one also. And like that's, I haven't seen any more. I talked to also somebody else who sold one of theirs that they had that like was mislabeled as a Ralph Lauren bag. Long story short, there are not very many of these. And so she like she will be in my collection forever and always and she will be passed down to my hopefully God willing future children Like it's it's kind of a I'm I'm literally speechless and I love this bag so much It is a true doctor bag. You guys know I keep all of my dust bags in my bag So it opens really like it's very 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 authentic The leather on this is just kind of iconic You need to kind of feel it in person and every time I bring this to the row shopping in person I just it's it just feels right. You know, I'm so honored to have one of their very first pieces ever made in my collection. And to just go ahead with that same theme, I actually didn't realize this, but I also have another bag from their very first collection, or at least the bag style was made in their first collection. I don't think I saw the color ever released in the first one. I'm not sure when exactly the color came out. However, the Row Twin 2 bag. I have it in this beautiful yellow. It's very, very, very worn. And my interpretation artistically of this piece is that this is kind of a play on Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen's very differing styles. They have a lot of bags if you really look through their collections that are called the twin bag or they have two compartments or they kind of play up on symmetry. Which I think is so beautiful and especially done in this piece. 
This is half ostrich and half lizard. And I just, I have no idea if this is true or not, but I feel like it's a kind of nod to the different styles of each one of the incredible designers who I have, again, many, many, many videos on my love for their very different styles. And I just love this bag. It's so perfect. Again, I got it wildly worn. You can see how worn it is. I got it from the Real Real probably, like I think exactly a year ago, maybe a little bit more than a year ago, but she's so perfect. Honestly, this is gonna sound like the most New York thing you've ever heard. And this is probably embarrassing, but like, this is the bag that I take the, to the gym. This is the bag that I take on my little dog walks. It's so perfect with the two compartments. And then I can kind of fold up the little handles and just pomp around with her, but it's just the truth. I'm just here to tell you guys the truth and I love it so, so much. And then we may as well go ahead with the bag that I think like fully solidified my love for them and started this entire ridiculous collecting phase that I've completely delved into. When I tell you, I just, I fell. I tripped and I fell down the rabbit hole of the row after this bag, even though my mother's collection made me fall in love with the row wearing my double circle bag by the row in I think the second to largest size. I believe this is probably the large. However, I'm not exactly sure. This again, to repeat myself, this is the double circle bag by the row in this like buttery, yummy, almost tan, almost camel-y, nude-ish color. You guys have no idea. First of all, I bought this bag so wildly worn again on the real real. Looking at it, it looks absolutely wild. It looks so incredibly worn, but this by far is my most worn bag of all of 2023, especially accounting for all of the weekend trips that I've taken with it. It looks unassuming, but you can fit so much in here. It just is like, it's so incredible because the leather is so buttery. And again, the reason why I fell in love with it, the leather is so amazing. And it does just kind of like balloon out. I think you guys can kind of see how wide it can get. It's lined on the inside in that very same leather and it has a zip pockets. So like what more could you need? It even has a crossbody strap, which I never use. Maybe at first I thought I was going to use it. And She's just such a vibe, especially when I'm not on a weekend trip and I'm just carrying her. Like, it's kind of a vibe to have it be this slouchy. You guys, this is one of my, again, my favorite bags in my entire collection. I am so blessed to have this. Okay, and then my next bag, which because I rarely ever do this, I was trying to think as I elongated that word, I rarely ever do this, but I loved my double circle bag so much. And then I also, in all of my videos that I've done deep dives on, I was like, it would be so special in my very colorless bag collection to have a red bag from the row because we know it's their color. It's their color that they've used as a pop in so many different collections for years and years and years. And again, I'd say for sure, Ashley has had her moments maybe with red in like the past and for sure, but she does more of like the muddled colors, Mary Kate, loves a good red moment, whether it's in a coat, whether it's in a bag, she loves it and she has for years. And so I feel like it's very authentic to their style. So I found this bag again, very worn on Vestier. This is the mini, it's, I think it's the smallest. It might not be the actual smallest. It's either the smallest or the second smallest double circle bag from the row in this gorgeous, like this I'd call fire truck red, right? Or cherry apple red, like this is a red and we know that I'm not so much of a red gal, but I thought for them, I'd do it. And honestly, I've been loving her. I thought I really, to be, we're being honest here, I've, I wear my other bags to the ground from them. They're some of my favorite bags in my entire collection. This is one that I haven't worn as much. Also my twin two bag. You really fully honest, all of the rest of my pieces, I could never imagine selling. But as soon as I talked about how little I've worn this and how sad that made me and how silly my own kind of like very boring dressing is, I wore it a couple times and I love it. It's so perfect. I have the dust bag in it again, I believe. But like, yes, it's much smaller, but it also does come with a crossbody strap. But the little handles make it so cute that I just like carry it like this if I have a little tea in my hand. It's just, like, honestly, she's adorable. And so I think this is gonna be a keeper forever in my collection also. I just need to get braver and get a little bit more out of my comfort zone to wear her more. Okay, as you've already seen, one exotic bag of mine from the row, the twin two bag. 
Another element, which yes, we, we're just in this world now, okay? I'm just admitting it, it's fine, I'm not ashamed anymore. When you really go down the row rabbit hole, when you go down each of the designers kind of very, I'd say well-documented archive of their own collections and the pieces that they purchase or they wear from the row themselves, you'll see a lot of exotics. You will see a lot of exotics. I know, you know, we can all be rosy hunting whitely and get the crocodile or alligator, whichever one, and ostrich pieces, which I would die to collect one day. That's where I hope I'm heading one day to just like zero in and hone in and start collecting like the crazy exotics. But in knowing how much care they put into their leather, I knew that I wanted to start collecting exotics as well. So after the twin two bag proved me how incredible the quality is of lizard and ostrich skin, I was like, what is eel skin? And from Essence in person during the Essence sale in Montreal, I got the Dante XL bag in this gorgeous eel skin. Like, look at the shine on that bad boy. This is, again, one of my favorite bags of my entire collection. We know I love a pouch. My entire, I have set, oh my God, seven Bottega bags and five of them are pouches, is that correct? Or six Bottega bags and five of them are pouches, something like that, but I love a pouch. As you'll see with the other two bags, the next three, oh my God, the next, the several bags going forward are pouch bags. I actually didn't mean to do that, but yes, all the bags going forward from here on out are pouch bags. And this one was the one that started it all because it is so incredibly functional because of the amazing quality of the eel skin. You can literally just scrunch it up. I know the model on the runway was kind of holding it in her arms like this. I just looked like I was cuddling a teddy bear. That's weird, but holding it in her arms like this. And that's exactly how I wear it. In my bag closet, I have her folded a little bit. Otherwise she wouldn't fit height wise, but it's just perfect. The eel skin is wearing so so well and as all of their bags as i've talked about clearly i didn't realize this at first but i have a thing for smooth leather for some reason like my mom is probably smarter my mom has all the really textured grainy bags with really wide grains and quite frankly my mom has more of like the conventional bags the more well-known bags so i'll link her bag video down below that i recently just did right after christmas but this is, this is a beauty and it's my only black bag in my entire collection, if you can believe that. This is not in any order because this was like six to seven to eight months after, but I became so obsessed with my Dante bag in eel skin that actually the bag that made me fall in love with eel skin prior to the Dante was this bad boy that I, first of all, <laughs> I'm going to give a moment for how pretty she looks on camera. Oh my gosh. Okay. Nerding out aside. This is the Everett bag in eel skin again with gold overlay. And when I tell you, I've told this story a thousand and one times a year ago, maybe a little bit over a year ago, but a year ago, I went to the row with a friend of mine and literally it was like a hallelujah choir moment. This bag was up. If you've ever been to the New York store, you know that they have an entire bag room. They have them kind of littered throughout the entire store, but there's one dedicated room, usually to like accessories, maybe jewelry installments, and then bags. And she was on a top shelf and I said, oh my God, what? is this gorgeousness and I put it on and my friend was like, uh, you need to buy that right now. This bag was 3,800, I can't remember exactly. I think that is the price. And so I was like, N it's okay, we're gonna let it go. I was really thinking about what my 30th birthday present would be to myself and she was high on the list. And then I kind of like, I made, you know, I got my, I got my doctor bag from the row right before or after that visit. And so that kind of satiated me for a moment. And then a couple months later, I kept thinking about this and thinking about this. And long story short, I finally found, I found two, I think I found three in total, but two on the real real. And this was the second one I found. The first one sold and I was like, oh my God. Okay, now that the first one sold, I need to get this. This is a very rare piece as quite frankly, some of my pieces are. And so I am honored to have this in my collection. I do think of it as a pouch before I get into the whole bag. I think of it as a pouch because I'll carry it mainly like this, which is just very me. It's really cool. But why the eel skin is so cool is because it's really meant to be folded. It's totally kind of like, it keeps its shape. It makes it even vibier, if that's not a word I know, but it just looks so cool and you can carry it as a tote and she fits 
everything and more that you'll ever need. I like, doesn't this bag just, doesn't this bag just look like she fits into my color? I just, oh, she's a jewel and I'm so grateful to have her. And what I didn't even notice, a little mini elephant in the room that I'm sure absolutely none of you guys noticed, but look at how cute she matches with my new signet ring. You guys, I have a brand new signet ring that I made just in time for Valentine's Day called the loved signet ring. It is just the cutest little signet that I hand carved as always. And I was trying to think of something so cheesy and so cute for Valentine's Day, which will be like a permanent collection piece now. But I was like, you know what? We just all need the reminder sometimes that we are loved. And so I just put the sweetest little inscription on it. And so eh, like she just matches perfectly. Okay, throwing in there. Selfish plug for Layla Sophia jewelry. Now we're on to, uh, I can never choose my favorites. How could I do that? But now we're on to two bags that have been my recent fixations is what we'll say. I am so obsessed with this next one. I can't even believe like nobody ever talks about it. You guys, I got this at a crazy sale on Forward for like ex on uh, maybe even a little bit under $500. This is the Row Glove Bag. And it is in this gorgeous like espresso bean color. And this is just to show you the real structure of the bag. It's literally like a little hand muffler as my friend told me the correct name for it. You could put it like this. You could wear it on your arm. It's really, really thick leather. It's meant to be kind of scrunched up if you want. But since I'm the pouch bag queen, what I do is I just fold it three times and it's a lunchbox bag, you guys. I am really truly such a nerd I'm aware don't worry it's a lunchbox and I'm so obsessed like honestly I thought oh is this gonna be cumbersome is this gonna be like not safe to wear because it's kind of an open pouch I, I started wearing it and I'm obsessed and it's kind of hard for me to not wear this bag all of your pieces are so safe and secure everything kind of drops down here like they I just can't even explain how incredibly genius they are at constructing pieces and clothing and shoes and bags, coats, the list goes on and on and on. And it's it's like genius how they did this because you can easily just drop all your items and they go into this, this whole area from here down is all pouch of the bag. But there's like, it's a little tighter up top so you, your hands can fit in, but your pieces will never fall out. And then especially when you carry it like a lunch box, like everything's just so secure in here. You guys, I'm obsessed with this piece. And then yes, some might say that I did save the best for last. I'm gonna say I saved my most recent edition for last. And honestly, this is one of my very favorite pieces as I'm feeling it. I will just go ahead and say, it is the most luxe, buttery, incredible leather I've ever felt in my entire life, you guys, if you haven't already seen. This is the Abby bag from The Row that I just unboxed like a week ago. This bag, I, I even it, it even smells still like really beautiful new leather. I know last in my unboxing video, I didn't hold it up to the screen as long as I should have. This is the Abby bag from The Row in the color chocolate. And when I tell you, are you kidding me? Like, doesn't this bag just look like she screams my name and I needed her and I got her? Like, literally, from when we got an email about it even just being dropped on the website as a pre-order, I mentioned it here. Because I was like, uh, hello, we all need to be completely obsessed with this bag. It is stunning and there's not much more I can say. Watch my entire video on it. It's just like, it's just the cutest thing and it can really be a full pouch bag. These straps are removable. There's like the sweetest little, look at this hardware, you guys. There's the sweetest little silver hardware that buckles and you just remove it. That's the dust bag in there, but it's like, it's, it's kind of iconic. And I love this bag so much. Watch the entire video if you want more details on it. But this, like, I do feel like one day, it would be really cute to have the 90s bag, which is, is like a couple inches less wide than this one. And then they can be little twins. But honestly, I just, for now, she's my baby. You guys, that has been my collection of the row bags, my very unconventional, more rare, kind of less known bags from the row. A comment that I'd love you guys to leave me down below is what do you think my next bag should be? What do you think my next bag is going to be? Because we never know, it could go both ways. I clearly, I did my collection now knowing that I feel very full, I feel really good. I've collected all the pieces that I was eyeing for a long time and so the next ones will probably be a few months away. So comment which one, am I missing something in my collection? What do you guys think? And I can't wait to see you in my next one. Thank you guys so, 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 so much for watching as always. Bye guys.